previously on The Witcher. Siri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Valen, in a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardle. Was that you tell me you must go and get the creature i don't know buy him kidnap him tell me do you think is there a chance that thing might be seen hi guys welcome back for another video of the witcher 3 The Wild Hunt Need to talk to you. About? Uma, gonna take him with me. Believe you meant to say you've come to ask my permission to take him. I am in charge now, so... Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you. You can try to stop me. But then I'll bring your enlightened reign to an end. An abrupt and premature end. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. I'm taking Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Find something else to laugh at. I don't know. Catch some frogs and shove straws up their asses. Huh? <laughs> that one of your Witcher games? Witcher version's different. Don't make me show you. Open the door. Now. Hey, little guy. This here's Roach. She'll take us to Care Morin. Well, come on.
What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he ought to ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsima. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, your Imperial Majesty, our spies report that the garrison at Banglin consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once! Your Imperial Majesty, Yennefer. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. <laughs> I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen. I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task. I know this. What of it? Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. I pursued those leads you gave me. Siri first reappeared in Skellige with a mage, an elf. Yen knows more. The Wild Hunt tracked them down, found them there. They were forced to flee to Velen. Where they were separated. Ciri spent some time with a local warlord, a self-styled baron who... Yes, yes, I know my bosses. ...who helped her get to Novigrad, where Ciri crossed some of the city's underworld bosses. She had to flee, went back to Skellige, ran into her elf companion there. And into the Wild Hunt, again. Ciri and the elf fled, out to sea this time. Their boat returned to shore the next day, with only him on board. Hmm. The information appears of little use, though at least it seems you kept busy. This monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research. Made inquiries, but to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that. Raphael Elen, Kedmil Fali, Gladiv Dorn Eptened, Pandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must. The details do not interest me. Geralt, you've achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request, it was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well, do not disobey me. This audience is over. Till the next.
could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where'd it disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the Dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Unlike some others, I know. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. So, how do we lift Uma's curse? We must take him to Kaer Morhen. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here. Probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. His long search for Ciri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the young woman. Geralt needed to lift the curse. So he took Uma to the home of the world's greatest specialists on dark spells. To the Witcher's Fortress of Kaer Morhen. Like and subscribe in Demigod's channel. Help this video get 200 likes. Quite a while. Too long. Uh, mm. What have we here? Multiple deformities. Eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair lip. And is this. <laughs> now, now, calm down. Jennifer was right on one count. Thing sure isn't pretty. See you on the next video. Have a good one.